Hey guys, this is going to be a quick little video on the Mefferts XXL Gear Cube. So this is a really cool puzzle. It was packaged with this mini palette. Just sat on the palette like that. And it was one of the few puzzles that I could actually buy locally, which is really nice. It functions just like a regular gear cube. You've got your corners, edges, and then centers and extra pieces here. But I was really impressed by the turning of this puzzle. It is very, very smooth. In fact, it's so smooth you can even just hang on to these little edges and then turn it. It's definitely by far the best turning gear puzzle I own, and it's also the largest gear puzzle I've ever seen. It's pretty cool. Here's a little bit of a comparison to um, the other puzzles. So here's just the regular gear ball. I unfortunately don't have the regular sized gear cube, so I can't really compare the turning of this puzzle to the original sized one, but I can say this one's definitely a lot better and more... Um, it's just a lot easier to turn than this one, because once you get everything aligned, you can turn this just fine, but every once in a while it'll be slightly misaligned, and then it'll lock up slightly. And here's a little bit of a size comparison. You can see that the gear ball is just a little over half as tall as the gear cube. This gear cube is also the same size as the Rubik's Light. Here's a closer look of each side. With these larger puzzles, you can see a much more detail than with the ordinary sized ones, so that's pretty cool. You can see the Mefferts logo here, and unlike the gear ball over here, the Mefferts logo is only on the yellow face. But the gear ball has the Mefferts logo, except for Oscar right here, on every other face. And despite how large and actually quite heavy the puzzle is, you don't ever feel like you're going to drop it during the solve because of how well it turns. You can just kind of rest your hand like that and then just make all of your turns. And sometimes it'll lock up like that, but all you have to do is kind of move it around to get it lined up again and then you can go on with the turning. Alright, so that is the giant gear cube. I would highly recommend this puzzle. It's not just a novelty item that you would just display on a shelf. It's definitely usable, it's really fun to solve, and you don't really feel like you're going to drop it or anything when you're using it, so it's pretty nice. Alright, so that is going to be it for the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.